But moving on, uh, the next thing I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear our canvas. So if you want to erase an item, you're just going to make sure it's selected and then hit the delete button on your um, computer and keyboard and it will disappear. So there you go. And oh, if you decide, oh shoot, I just, I actually wanted that arrow. You can actually do the undo, which is a, a, a savior in this, in this, uh, app because your arrow will come back so that's one of the first things that I I teach my students about is the undo button so if they've accidentally uh, erased something they can get it back by simply clicking this undo button here so we're gonna erase everything and I want to show you quickly how to sorry how to change the background. So right now when it's this checkered uh, light gray and white, this means that it's a transparent background. So when you download it, uh, if you want to download your image at the end, you can download as you have options. You have PDF, JPEG, PNG, which is .png, and SVG. So the PNG or PNG is basically when you download it, it's not going to have um, a colored background if uh, if you download using the ping uh, option. If you want a background you will hit the right uh, mouse button or double click on most trackpads and you'll see right there the background uh, comes up. Same as with the shapes you've got options if you want to go back to transparent ever you can do that or you can just make a nice I don't know, bluish kind of background. Great. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to insert uh, an image. So there are several options and different ways you can do it. So you can go either from insert and go image that way, or in your trusty toolbar, you've got an image icon and this will pop up. So you've got, you can upload from uh, your draw, your computer's drive if you have something. You can do it from your Google Drive or you can even just search. Now this is actually um, photos that you are allowed to use so they're labeled for reuse when you search for these so anything you make with this can be posted and published because they are uh, photos that are okay to be used. So let's say we want my kids are doing a project about superheroes and digital citizenship superheroes so I'm going to type superhero and just a little trick if you want it to have that transparent background and not have the annoying box of color around it you can tr always try a search with dot ping and see what comes up and hope that they're kind of like a transparent uh, background so we've got some options of superheroes here uh, I'm going to pick this one okay so you're gonna pick it by clicking once and then click on select and he should be see how um, he doesn't have any background on him it's not white if you had put uh, a regular JPEG on this canvas and it was blue you may see white all in here so this is a good thing so now if we change the background again to uh, another color, you can see that um, he is actually clear in the background, which is which is great. So I'm going to change it to maybe like a dark blue. Okay. Um, so now um, a cool thing you can also try is when you click on an image, there are options that come up in the toolbar. So let's click on that. You can actually recolor. Uh, any image, most, I shouldn't say any, most images, sometimes they don't let you, sometimes it shows only one option of black, but here uh, you can actually change your superhero to any color. So if you wanted him to be more of a green tone, you could do that. If you wanted him to be more purpley, you could do that. I'm going to leave him at the original, so if you want to go back to the original, you just click on no recolor, because I liked him that color. You can also play with the transparency. So if you had words or you want him to just be kind of in the background of if you're making 
let's say a pamphlet or something for, for school and you want to have a watermark type thing, you can just uh, make it really light in the background. It prints out really nicely actually. You can also play with um, the brightness and contrast. Uh, just yeah, play around and adjust and you can always reset to the original by clicking on this reset adjustments button. Now just a couple tips about moving images. So you can take the handles and slide them down to make your superhero smaller. Um, you could stretch him one way with this handle, stretch him up that way. Or what you can also do, which is cool, is rotate him. So if you want him to look like he's flying, let's take this. It actually tells you how many degrees you're turning, which is cool. So you've got to look for the little dot on top, and when your cursor turns into a plus sign, then he can turn. Now, let's say the action is happening over here, and we want our superhero to be facing the other way. So what you do is you click on it, um, do a right click or a double click on with two fingers on the trackpad, and you can click on rotate, and then you want to flip him horizontally. So then he's going to flip horizontally and look the other way and fly the other way to where he needs to go. So those are some quick tips about images in Google Drawings. And just another uh, tidbit of information is that all of these tips and tricks can be used in Google Slides as well. So if you're using slides to make presentations, all of these, most of these tips can be used in there as well. Thanks for watching.